School was different. I got headbutted by, by my third grade teacher. Yeah, it's funny now. <laughs> Miss Stokesbury, I'll never, I, you don't forget, you don't even make that stuff up. This poor woman was so frustrated with my nine-year-old body. She was just shaking me against the locker. She was overweight, her cheeks were vibrating like jello. <laughs> to a nine-year-old boy, that's funny. I couldn't stop laughing at the poor woman. <laughs> she finally had enough. I, laugh at me, you obnoxious little punk. I said, you stop vibrating, Jellator, I'll stop laughing. Oh, that was the wrong thing to say to Miss Stokesbury. Jello, what? Pam, ow. And I couldn't go home and tell my father, Miss Stokesbury headbutted me twice, because my father would go, why? Every time I got in trouble at school, you know what my dad told me? Leave those people alone. They work hard enough. They don't need you in there disrupting their whole, whole life. When I got to eighth grade, this is my father's advice for school. Go to sleep. I'm not making that up. He says, you go to sleep, you won't get in trouble no more. And it worked. I slept. I did. I slept through school from eighth grade through high school. I sailed through with a 2.0, baby. In the middle there. Right in the middle. Now they're arresting six-year-old boys for shooting their little index fingers on the playground. This is now a threat to the American way of life. A little boy, every guy in this room did this when they were a kid. We play that. Girls can't do that. That's a guy thing. Girls go like this. I used to shoot knuckles when I was a kid. I can shoot an elbow. Kneecaps. I blame the parents. The next time a six-year-old gets thrown out of school for shooting his little index finger, I think a thousand parents need to surround the school at some point, hold out their fingers and go, I don't think so. <laughs> I got a novel idea. How about putting little Joey back in his desk and teaching him some math? So 10 years from now, when he gets a job at McDonald's and I give him three cents to round the change up, I don't have to stand there to watch an apoplectic convulsion going on behind the register. <laughs> And I'm sure Common Core math will help that one out. <laughs> Have you seen this abomination? This is called math. Let's see, you gave me a $10 bill. I'll break that 10 into a six and a four. Move the six over there, move the four over there. The bill was $6.33, so let's see. I'll take that six, break that into a four, move that over there, and two over there. Wait a minute, you gave me three pennies. <laughs> Is there a homeschooled kid nearby? <laughs> Somewhere? Somewhere, please? It's gotten so bad, we coddle our children so much that grading their papers in red ink is too traumatic for little Joey. Are you kidding me? I got English papers back that look like OJ's driveway, for gosh sakes. <laughs> My father would look at my paper and go, what are you, a moron? This is your native tongue. What's with all the hyphens? There's periods, commas, semicolons. I, so I started just putting them at the bottom of the page. Bunch of periods and commas, told the teacher, put them where they belong, they're there. 